Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Friday's Attorney. We're trying to prove Von Karma is the culprit of this DL-6 incident. We have to prove that he was shot. Our rival Von Karma. Everybody. It's something outside the box, I'll just say that. that Prince Von Karma was shot is... Well, it could be that. That's the old, from the old case, though, isn't it? Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. I'll just say, it, the, the thing that you have to use here is not related at all to... Well, actually, that's kind of why I'm missing it. Uh, shoot, never mind. <laughs> Ignore what I was about to say. Could be this then. Well, how's that proof of Sean? I came from Edward's heart. Okay, it doesn't matter. Man, this is old stuff. We don't need that. Well, that's old too then. How about this? Nope. You'll figure it it's out. It's the metal detector. Good thinking. Von Kammer is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving the unevidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it's unlikely Von Kammer performed surgery on himself. You? You don't need. I do. There's the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Kammer. Is that even possible for all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. Uh, I refuse. You refuse? But refusing this means... You acknowledge the bullet is still inside you? Remember so long ago when you were thinking why he was clasping his shoulder? You thought maybe because it was he was shot? Yeah. I tried so hard not to spoil that. Order, order, order! Your Honor, the defense requests, or the defense demands, that we allow the use of the metal detector. Judge, Judge I call for suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. Objection! The statute of limitations runs out on this case today. It was you who said we do. We had to end it right here, right now. Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. Right. Uh, got him on the ropes now. Uh-oh. It reacted something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Mr. Von Karma. You. It was you. I was afraid this would happen. And so I remained silent. Indeed, there's a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL-6 incident. I claim the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL-6. But Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove. I have no obligation to prove anything. It is you who must prove something. Not I. Mr. Wright. Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL-6? Of course he can't. You don't have any of the DL-6 evidence. Oh, and why is that, hmm? Huh? That's because you took it from, from out of the record room yesterday. 
With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. White. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You're close one day away from freedom. You see, I have proof. What? Who would have thought you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. Here's his final proof. Now it's probably this. Yep, because that's the one thing he doesn't know we have. That's... Bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with the ballistics marking intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. <laughs> All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the, sh fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. So take it out of the shoulder and find out if it matches. Yep. We have two bullets in our possession. One removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in his shoulder. You can analyze both bullets. Then if the markings match, we would know that both bullets have been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words, the murderer weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove that bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings on, the, on those, on this bullet, and solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? Yeah! Yeah! I was trying to make the most exaggerated scream I could think of. That scream! I've heard that scream before! Wait, I know. Help, I can't breathe. I've heard this in many times. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Stop. <laughs> well, I guess I can use Yogi's voice now. Stop breathing my air. I'll, I'll stop you. Stop breathing my air. Get away. Get away from my father! Bang. I wish I could have played Alexander's scream from Amnesia there, because it's such a good scream. It's that scream I heard in the elevator 15 years ago. Von Karma, it was you who screamed! Mr. Von Karma? Whoa! Edgeworth! Edgeworth, only you would dare defy me. So it was you. You and your father are my curse. Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I'll bury you. I'll bury you with my bare hands. Death, death. That was one of the original voices I was considering for Von Karma, but I thought it'd be too over the top. <laughs> I wanted a more calm one. Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've done it for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth. It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me penalized. It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly I felt myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black, the lights must have gone out. I went out of the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button and nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain, a horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then the lights came back up. The elevator door opened before my very eyes. 
when I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then it was destiny. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge. What? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Oh, <laughs> fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent. You are, you are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, not guilty. There we go. That's the not guilty we wanted. That is all. The court is adjourned. What about? December 28th, 5.38 p.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number two. Nick, Nick, we did it. Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed! I gotta say, I'm impressed. Yeah, it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had him. I know, I was on the verge of tears that whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah? I, I'm not sure how to say this. I know, I know. Try, thank you. I see. Thank you, Wright. You're welcome. I think you could have. I think you could have done better than that. Oh, sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a job. You got a lot to learn, that choice. Dear, dear. Whoa! Oh, ooh! Amazing, pal. You pulled through like I thought you would. I'll never forget this. I owe you one, pal. And tonight, let's party! Dinner's on me! Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Mr. Edgeworth? You should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Mm, I see. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> I can picture that's what how he says it. <laughs> I, I feel foolish. Don't worry, don't worry, take a little bit of time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Oh, where'd she come from? Lala! Y'all were great in there. Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats! Uh, thank y'all very much. <laughs> uh oh. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You would stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, the bygones be bygones, eh? Speaking of which, what are you doing here now, Lana? Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Larry's here, too. It's over, Nick. My life is over. Uh, let me guess. This speech the, again. Uh, he broke up with Kianse, probably. Why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick. I'm not long. I'm not long for this world? That's supposed to mean. Hmm. I hope it's not a sexual innuendo. <sighs> it's Kianse. She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. She's leaving me behind. Larry, Larry. Yo, Wedgie, there you are. Oh, um, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy. Here, a little gift for me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts, you came <laughs> along tonight too. My treat, pal. As long as he differentiates us from... Yeah. Him. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, looking forward to it. 
Yo, yo, Nick. That's the suit that. That's the suit the question me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah, what's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate people. It's $38, right? Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. $38 exactly? Nick! Wasn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? 38 no. <laughs> Larry, it was you? What are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Yeah, they definitely remember that. I know, I know. Really right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this is sure an unexpected turn of events, eh? Edgeworth. Hmm? You should have told me. No, no, Nick. It was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, I'd call you a goody two-shoes to the extreme. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. Death. The death sentence for both of you. Man, if I only had known, I'd become a prosecutor. Ooh. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. In his new games, is he a defense attorney? Who? Edgeworth. I'm not saying anything. Oh, I just will play those games. Edgeworth. Want to switch, right? Hey, y'all, line up, I'll take a photo. Hey, full of time, let's go. And after that, dinner on me. Whew. Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom, although Edgeworth was still in detention. Oh. December 29th, 5.02 a.m. Franco offices. We're back here again. Whoa, I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Huh? It's still only 5 a.m. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Hmm? What's this? A letter. Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm going, what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium, in training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye? What time is it? Yeah, the first train leaves. The train for the mountain has already left to the station. Oh. This is a cool place. I guess I'm too late. She let- oh. Hey! Huh. Nick! Maya. So you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And... I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Wait! What? 
I never could have saved a torch without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at that very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Prosper, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless thing. What about that taser incident? Yeah, that's true. You're the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in the days. Sorry, but I have evidence that helped that you helped. Evidence? The bullet, right? Because he dropped it when she, she tackled him. Yeah. A bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all the evidence pertinent pertaining to DL6. But you were the la the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. That was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't do it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run out of us by yourself. You're hopeless. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, that's the train. Uh, so, bye. Bye. Bye, Maya. Thanks, Nick. Are those sparkles or tears? I think so. I just noticed that. So my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Huh. Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Oh. And there we go, we got the credits. Well, everybody, it was a nice ride. That was the end of uh, case four, turn about goodbyes. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, pal, Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Whoop, Detective Gumshoe. Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. <laughs> I can totally fix it. Kinda like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? At the end of every game, they usually do this thing. During the credits, they have little recaps from showing all the characters. Huh? Dick? No, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working at a cheese shop. Cheese shop? That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now, yeah. Hey, you little paint. Oh, right? Yeah, I remember him. What? You sound like old bag. Oh, I do. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, when I want to ring his own bell, but I swear I've taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's great. Is that what his voice was like? I can't. His voice was like my voice with my nose plugged, I think. Well, you, yeah, at the first. At first, and then yeah. I did it without that. It sounded um, similar to that, I think. It reminded me of Old Beg. Yeah, it sounded similar. Oh. Old Beg was a little more stereo. Felix Wright. Mm -hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know I've taken over management of the Gate Watch Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. Who's this, like, no. no, no, like, who's going through all these people? I don't know. <laughs> just, I think it's just people, just random people talking oh. to everybody. Oh. Whoa. You know what, then? No, I'll do it here. <clears throat> What's your Felix right? I guess me as understanding what he not. I wonder how he's doing. Haven't seen him of late. Ah, uh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Didn't he say that before? I think he did. Masa Mas Masakazu Sugimori? He did a great job on the music, by the way. Props to you. Phoenix right! He an actor! Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they're finally putting on DVD set of things nowadays? Now that I have to own DVDs, three letter words, everything else is so so it's hate thing, right? Oh, good Lord. Yeah, I think Old Bag is more snivelly than Pain. Pain? Yeah. 
pains a little more. Oh, well, shoot, no, that did sound like that. Your Honor, this is trivia. Oh, uh, I'm pleased to announce the Big Princess is a big hit. I show that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, and I'm keeping my face under the public eye till the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kid's dreams, you know. Little powers. Mm. What? Are we gonna see Sam and Ella? Maybe, but I don't know. Let's see. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> we have Penny. Oh, that's you. Mm. I left for my the other day. What? It goes so fast. Yeah, it sounds like something blah, blah, blah. So I sent her some big princess trading cards. Oh. Interesting. Can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? Yeah, that was the only other character you voiced. Right. It was Penny. Right. Right. Come on. Cody Hackett's. Right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk Pink Princess, all right? But, you know, I snuck into the studio that other day. And I saw her, the one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It was kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. His power is inside the suit. Right? Uh, they said that he was the one that yeah. did the role. Come on. Who voices her then? Oh, they skipped Sam. Oh, yeah, Sam. I remember, right? That lawyer guy? Huh, me? I've been trained to become a paranormal photographer. Paranormal? You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them there, there's a ghost. For real. Now that's talent. I'm gonna be famous. Sam and I got arrested then, huh? Maybe, because he was an accomplice to the murder. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we don't see the culprits. Here's the picture, and look, Mia is the ghost. Oh, yeah. See that? All right. Victory, it says. And it with a smile. Oh, was he? Yeah. I saw Gumshoe throwing the confetti. <laughs> well, everybody, that was real fun. Hold it! We're not done with the game yet. There's a fifth case. Didn't see that coming, did you? I was just going to give my closing speech on the game, but no. We got one more case to go, everybody. Brand new episode has been added, and it's Whoa. called Rise from the Ashes. Only episode in the game that does not have turnabout in the title. Um, even though in Japan it was called They Revived Turnabout, so I guess they just changed it in English for some reason. Anyway, um, stay tuned, everybody. We'll eventually do episode five, Rise from the Ashes. It's the longest case in, like, the whole series, pretty much. But it's pretty darn, uh, pretty darn good. There's a lot of good characters. I know you've played some music for me. Yeah, yeah. A certain Western a certain person. character. But we won't spoil too much about it. Thanks for watching the first four cases, everybody. And uh, tune next time when we start case five. Um, rise from the ashes so stay tuned everybody thanks for watching uh, so far hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, until then take care everybody this is um, Mano States Away and Troy signing, signing out. out that's right